I don't know why this concept hasn't hit a lot of our people yet. Not knocking a lot of people. I love our people. I love us. But at the same time, we got to understand marching, that ain't going to get you nowhere. Singing kumbayas and we shall overcome is not getting progress. Laws, financials, and organization are the three things you're probably going to need to put in place right now if you're trying to create this change or have an impact. It's very simple. The Jews have done it. The Native Americans have already done it. They got themselves a community. They have established themselves to where they have feedback from the, their own communities. We have JNL liquor store and quick pick shopping stops in our communities, the ghettos. That's, that's our communities. We're the most religious people with no religion, and we're the biggest consumers in the U.S. We don't produce anything at all. Pull out. The markets will probably collapse, and we can be in control of something. Maybe we can get what we need, what we think we want to put in place. Like I say, I'm not knocking anybody that was marching out there, is doing your thing. That's great. You got out your, your sales and you, you want to make an impact. But I just want all of us together to understand that we have to be organized. We got to attack financials and we have to attack the laws to make a difference. It doesn't matter about we shall overcome. They can let you march till next week. And then you got to go back to work on Monday and your feet hurt because you went to Baker Street, came right back, and nothing happened. So, I mean, just, just take that for what it is. I'm not trying to be bashing anybody. I just want to put everybody on the same page. If anything at all is going on as far as boycotts, participate in them and take heed to what people are trying to put in place in order to move ourselves forward from where we're at right now.